A local veteran has spent the past year buying toys leading up to today, Giving Tuesday. Her goal, to help foster families this holiday season. News 6's Jerry Askin shows us how she's getting results. These are the toys that we have for the foster system. For Patricia Bellamy, who is a disabled Air Force veteran. Wanted to fill up the room where we couldn't really get in. So <laughs> <it was laughs> <a good laughs> and you room. accomplished that. Giving Tuesday means giving back and spreading holiday cheer. We grew up in poverty. Um, I grew up in poverty, so I wanted to uh, bring joy and happiness um, to other children. Her husband and nine-year-old son agree and said it's just the right thing to do. I like it when I help other kids. Mm -hmm. Does it make you happy, make you smile? Yes. They've been buying these toys over the past year, and there's something for everyone. I get them by twos. So I get two girls, and then I switch and get two boys. As a former foster parent, mom said it hits home. It's why she spent the last three years buying toys to give to nonprofits that help foster families. Uh, if my son can open up a gift on Christmas and be happy and I know that I can help, I have helped many other children feel that same way, then that's the point of, of all this. I was there as an Embrace Families representative showed up to pick up these toys. They're a nonprofit that supports foster families and families in need. The toys are all for Embrace Families' annual holiday magic toy campaign. I got to look inside. This would be pretty cool for a kid to get for Christmas. Absolutely. Wouldn't you be so excited if that was under the tree? <laughs> We're going to bring these to a couple of different distribution sites, make it easier for our caregivers to come to us and get these toys. But yes, we need about 5,000 toys to really meet the needs of our family. And here at Embrace Families, there's really a desperate need for toys right now, particularly for kids between 8 and 12 years old, where you can see these two boxes are pretty empty. Back here at the Bellamy's home, they're simply trying to do their part to help bring smiles and cheer to kids in need and also be an inspiration for their own son. We kind of do it to, so he knows that when he gets older to also help when he can and to be a, a good person. In Winter Garden, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.